In this video, I'll be looking at covalent bonding. So let's start with a definition of covalent bonding. A covalent bond is the electrostatic attraction between positive nuclei and a shared pair of bonding electrons. It is often described as sharing of electrons. Covalent bonding occurs between non-metal elements only. The electronegativity difference between atoms is between 0 and 1.7 units. Next we'll have a look at the bonding in hydrogen gas which is H2. Here we have two atoms of hydrogen. Each atom has one electron so the two atoms are sharing this pair of electrons. Each nuclei is attracted to the shared pair of bonding electrons. The electrostatic attraction between the nuclei and shared pair of bonding electrons forms the covalent bond. All diatomic molecules have covalent bonding, so F2, Cl2, I2, Br2, N2 and O2. Next we look at single, double and triple covalent bonds. So we have a compound called ethane and the molecular formula is C2H6 and this is the structural formula. The single line between the two carbon atoms that represents a single bond. A single bond is composed of one shared pair of electrons. Next we look at ethene. The molecular formula is C2H4 and this is the structural formula. The two black lines between the carbon atoms that represents a double bond. A double bond is composed of two shared pairs of electrons. And finally we have ethine. The molecular formula is C2H2 and this is the structural formula. The three black lines between the two carbons that represents a triple bond. A triple bond is composed of three shared pairs of electrons. So there we have examples of a single, a double and a triple covalent bond. Next we look at the strength and length of single, double and triple covalent bonds. So in the first column we have the type of bond, single, double and triple. The second column we have the number of shared electrons, that's two, four and six. The next column we have the carbon to carbon bond strength in kilojoules per mole and the final column is the carbon to carbon bond length in 10 to the negative 12 meters. So let's start by looking at the bond strength. As we go from single to double to triple you can see that the bond strength is increasing. Next we look at bond length and as you go from single to double to triple you can see that the bond length is decreasing. So if we go in order of strength with strongest first, a triple bond is stronger than a double bond which is stronger than a single bond. And if we go in order of length with longest first, a single bond is longer than a double bond which is longer than a triple bond. So single covalent bonds are the longest and weakest. Triple covalent bonds are the shortest and strongest. So that's all from this video. Don't forget to check the video description for a link to a practice worksheet.